a new low-cost thrift store is coming to Pikeville, courtesy of God's Haven Ministries. The church will open the doors to their new thrift store Saturday, March 30th, and will offer a variety of clothing, accessories, decorations, and household essentials. It's just been on our hearts for quite some time to, to uh, open up a thrift store. Uh, so we just thought that this was the best time um, we just wanted to do it. And uh, for the church, uh, for our food missions every month to help with our seniors, um, but just mostly just to, you know, just to help the community in any way that we can. And we felt that opening the thrift store would give us uh, uh, just different items that we could offer to the community, to uh, families that uh, may need, uh, you know, need extra help or whatever it may be, um, that it'd be here for. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. All proceeds from the thrift store will go towards community outreach programs, including monthly meals for seniors. To us, you know, helping the community is, is helping them. So we can keep our prices down and we have been very blessed with a lot of new items with, flat, with uh, price tags on the clothing. Um, so, and like I said, we, we don't have anything in it. So. You know, just having a little bit of uh, a little bit of profit here to go towards something is 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 okay with us. Um, you know, our prices we we've, we've got our prices to where families can afford them. Um, like I said, it's donated to us. We don't have anything in any of the items, so to us, we should be able to bless the community with it and not try to make a profit for ourselves. Donations are still being accepted and the store will be open every Saturday from 10 to 4 p.m. or by appointment. For more information or to arrange a donation, go to God's Haven Ministries on Facebook. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.